Hello guys and welcome back to episode 5 of my devlog series. After the last episode I did a stupid thing. I imported Unity's terrain tool package and the asset terrain sample asset package which caused my game to take 4 new errors and make it unplayable. This bugged me and picked my brain quite a lot until I came to the reasonable conclusion of upgrading to the Unity editor version to the newest. This did not help at all, but a thorough research in Google led me to the Unity forum. This showed that I apparently wasn't the first to have these errors, and all what uh, I needed to do was resetting my layout for the editor, and it was running again. Now that it was working again, I started to model the terrain, so the devlogs are more visual pleasing, and you get a better idea of what the game is gonna look like. Then I worked on finishing the platter ridge. I texture painted it and began rigging it. I have always feared rigging and found it quite hard, but with the Rigify add-on for Blender it was quite easy. When I finished a rough draft for the rig, I began animating a simple run animation and idle animation for it. And when that was finished, I took the platter ridge and imported it into Unity and began working on the programming for writing the platter ridge because I feel like it would be very nice to ride around on the platter edge uh, and ch check out the whole environment at a faster pace, pace than just walking or running. And while I was doing that, Visual Studio Code's auto-completion stopped working. I then began looking into it and currently have been trying to figure out why it's not working. I've been going at it for around six hours now and the newest idea is to uninstall Visual Studio Code and the .NET SDK and reinstall everything. I hope to get it to work over the weekend so you can see the writing implemented in the next devlog. And if uh, if not, then I might change my IDE to uh, just Visual Studio. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe. And here's a little bit of what I did do before the Visual Studio code auto completion stopped working. Mm -hmm.